I was just curious how the project came to be initially, and how how you two got together, and how how yeah, where just where it originated from. Uh, I, I've been I've been covering war since 1993. Uh, Tim also has a long history of covering conflicts. Um, I've been in Afghanistan starting in 1996. Um, by 2005, I realized what had been really kind of an easy win in 01. I was there, and not one American soldier was killed uh, toppling the Taliban and taking Kabul, not one. Uh, eight, eight, I think eight journalists were killed in that process. It was easy, and the Afghans were, at least at that time, incredibly grateful. And um, But then it was badly done, and by 05, I realized, oh my god, we're going to be here for a long time. I wanted to know what it was like to be a soldier in the U.S. military. Uh, I embedded with Battle Company of the 173rd in Zabul. I was amazed by those guys, and I thought, if they go back to Afghanistan, I want to follow one platoon for a whole deployment. Um, I was lucky enough to team up with Tim. Uh, my idea was to write a book about those guys, to make a movie with Tim. Uh, we, at least I had no idea how hard that was going to be, um, but in the end it worked out. But it was, this is an idea that went back uh, almost five years now. Um, I really, I know it's a political topic, but what I really wanted to do was understand what it was like to be a soldier. And I, and I knew from my experience with those guys in 05 that the soldiers are maybe the only population group in the entire country that really do not talk about the war in political terms. And I wanted to understand their experience. You know, it was really interesting working with, uh, with um, when we were in the edit and, um, you know, working with Michael and Sebastian and kind of hammering it out and Sebastian and I having lots of talks. And I think what we did was we just put together the material and rather than seeking to give an opinion, we just sought, we wanted to make sure that what we showed was at, reflected accurately our experience out there, that the film was honest to our experience. You know, there's been a lot of talk about the embed system. I mean, the US Army provides a physical embed system, but it doesn't provide an emo a, you know, a, a way to really get emotionally embedded necessarily. You know, friends of mine who do tours out to Iraq and Afghanistan, you know, say that they're usually with a unit for about three weeks maximum. My friends I've had in Fallujah in Iraq were with the Marine unit for three weeks. We were with these guys for a very long time and managed to get this kind of really emotional depth, as you can see, in the, this intimacy that comes across in, in the screen. So we really wanted just to communicate that. And we felt that we didn't want to necessarily infuse a sense of our politics into the film because it was just, we just felt that whatever your politics, whether you're for or against the war, that you, you, you know, we wanted, because it wasn't happening in the network news, it isn't happening in the media lot, is that we wanted to bring that experience of what these guys go through back to you home, here at home. And that you should come into the theater and just put your, leave your politics in the lobby just for the 93 minutes and go on that deployment and just see and digest and understand the experience that these guys go through as a starting point for a discussion about the war. You know, this is a good, like we've had tonight, this good kind of interesting context to the war to get us all focused on it because this country faces very difficult questions. And I think coming along with some kind of hard political, you know, you know, opinion, you know, it's just going to kind of get in the way of that experience for you. You know, and I hope that you're, you know, that you really have gone somewhere tonight in that experience that will make you think about the war in, in a deeper way than you might have done if I had forced my politics on your throat. Has the army, sort of the official army, seen the film and? What sort of reactions do they have? Because I imagine this is a little more intimate portrayal of army life than they want to show in recruiting films. And so, what I, I don't know exactly who has or hasn't seen it, but um, a lot of the top people in the army I know have. And, I mean, I won't list names, but they uh, are. are um, the response has just been incredibly positive. Um, I think you you don't rise to that rank in the U.S. military without being very very smart. And someone I think who's smart and watches this movie mm -hmm. understands that. Even if it's not, what's the phrase they use, outside of protocol, is the official army phrase for some of the stuff you saw. Um, <laughs> they're fighting in shorts and flip-flops, that, that's <laughs> yeah, the, the death of the cow, that's all outside of protocol. Um, but they do, I think they do realize that it, it, it accurately reflected the experience of combat for a, lot of, uh, for a lot of units in remote places in Afghanistan, and that there was a real good in that. You know, the public... Um, the public just doesn't have access to that reality. Uh, you know, the, the news doesn't really cover it. The military can't communicate it. Um, the soldiers often have trouble talking about it. Um, and so when the movie came along, uh, there was, I don't know, it was a, we had a very interesting reaction from people in the military and particularly you know, often the wives and family members of the soldiers who have suffered the effects of the deployments um, but, but often didn't get a description of what it was like by the men themselves, and, and the movie seems to have allowed 
allow them a little bit of access into understanding that reality. And I think the uh, upper echelons of the U.S. military have sort of got that because we've gotten some incredible, incredibly supportive uh, sentiments from them.